Hey guys, Naturally Martyr. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Before we get into this video, I see you see me. So I want to see you press subscribe and become part of the fam. Bam. You guys, today is going to be a updated video for my mini twist. So if you're interested in this video, then just keep watching. You guys, today is November 11th, 2022. Because I am giving a hair update, I want to make sure I tell you guys what the day is so you can see my growth accurately. So with no more, you know, rambles, I have rebraided and twisted my hair. So I keep saying mini twist, but I don't even know what you call this. It's almost like a kinky twist situation because I braided about an inch of my hair from the bottom and then I braided it to here and then the rest of the hair is actually twisted and hopefully you guys can see that but I don't think you can see that but I am going to moisturize my hair since I'm talking to you guys. So I retwist or slash rebraid it and then twist my hair one at a time. I did not take down all of my hair and retwist my hair or rebraided my hair. Y'all what should I call this? Kinky twist. So because the majority of my hair is twisted, I don't know what I should call them. Passion twist? I think they're called passion twist, but I really don't know the name because this style is m mainly achieved with weave look, like a weave look. And I think back in the day they were called kinky twist. But I noticed my hair is just needing a little bit of moisture right now. But I don't want to make it too wet because it is cold outside but you know if I have to leave the house I am going to just put a hat on but let me stop rambling and just getting off topic you guys what I rebraided my hair with first off let me start off with saying that I thoroughly washed deep conditioned my hair when it was frizzy and then I just slowly started rebraiding it a little at a time. I have or retwisting it, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, okay, let me see if I can show you. Okay, so you see the braid? You see there's a braid and then it turns into a twist. So I started redoing my hair. The 1st of November and it took me two full days to actually redo my entire head I took down one braid slash twist at a time I did not want to take all of my hair down and my sister-in-law Tierra told me it's like girl don't even like really stress yourself out with trying to take all of it down at once and braid it all back up she's like to see how it does if you if you just take down one piece at a time and redo it and that's exactly what i did and i'm honestly happy that i did it that way because i wouldn't have wanted to put these back in my hair if i did it any other way but the reason why i was hesitant of not taking it all the way down because when i normally redid my mini twist um on the channel i just rebraided the front of my head and you guys know my hair if you've been here for a long time my hair was a lot longer and it was a lot thicker so it and the twist or the braids that i did put in my hair back then were so tiny it took me like a week and a half almost two weeks to actually retwist just the front of my head and by the time i got from one ear to the next ear it'd be at the end of the two weeks and my hair from if i started over here it'd be two weeks old by the time i've actually finished so my hair would be growing back out and it just really became like a nuisance but i wanted to get my hair a little bit more movable for you guys so you can actually see how nice it looks since i did wet it my hair was a lot shrunken but when i put water on it it does get longer and this is the way if i've been having it in like a bun or braid it up on itself this is the way that i get that crimped look out of my hair and if i want to wear my hair down then i have to let it air dry down and then it won't look all crinkly or messed up but i did just take one 
braid down at a time and then rebraided it what i put on my hair for this rebraid or retwist was my diy um hair cream this is a whipped shea butter but it's just not whipped shea butter it's emulsified so that it's an actual formulation to with a preservative and stuff it's just not shea butter oil and then it was whipped where it would melt so and i wanted more of a creamier water-based product to do my hair um to retwist it with like i said i did start out on washed hair washed deep condition and then i applied when my hair was still wet i applied my own whipped shea butter on my hair um you guys i've been making this a for about a year now so i've been testing this formula on my hair to make sure that it's the thickness that i want it's the richness that i want um and my hair stays really hydrated when i use this so i'm pretty much done with buying store-bought um what do you call them like leave-in conditioners and stuff because i've made my own it's like it's really really thick um and i actually it works with my hair like it's the thickness that i needed and yes it takes a little bit longer for it to sink into my hair but i have low porosity hair and with regular store-bought products i have to sit here and really really rub it into my hair but my hair don't feel dry after i rub this throughout the length of my hair and this is what i did when my hair was still old and frizzy i just did this and i couldn't show you guys me rebraiding or retwisting my hair because i'm a mom and my i was like walking around retwisting and rebraiding my hair and that's just what i had to do but yeah i actually packed this on my hair when it was a lot frizzier i'll show you guys what my hair looked like before and then just imagine my hair being wet and then me doing this to the old hair and then i allowed i allowed the product to dry on my hair for just one day but it was still really moisturized and then i just took one twist down at a time and um retwisted it and if i felt like my hair was a little too dry or it didn't have like enough slip then i did go back in and wet my hair one thing different that i did with this retwist is have my hair more damp and wet than bone dry normally you guys know i take down my twist on either bone dry hair because i would be so afraid for it to tangle and with this hairstyle it was so easy to actually take down and redo one twist at a time i didn't have no breakage i didn't have no like snapping sounds i didn't feel like my hair had started locking i didn't have any of those um signs that my hair wasn't doing well in these and another thing i'm really trying to hurry up you guys but um another thing that I've actually stopped doing my hair is washing it every Saturday. I stopped using shampoo every Friday or Saturday. I am still wetting my hair every day like I'm spraying it with water. I am still wetting it every day but I am not washing it every week. I'm washing my hair about every two weeks now um, because I noticed that my hair and my scalp once again just listen to your hair listen to what it wants and what it needs at the time that it needs it and now that i am a year post covid shedding my hair is not liking the washing it every week i noticed that my scalp had got drier and now that i've been doing this protect protective style this passion twist my hair is actually my scalp does not itch anymore and i told you guys before my scalp was very itchy and that's why i was needing to wash my hair every week and i am not experiencing that now but the other thing that i notice is i'm not using store-bought products anymore and i'm using um my diy oil like on my only on my scalp and no 
store-bought products so i don't know if that has a lot to do with it um yes you guys this oil is going to be on sale i don't want to say soon because trying to make sure that everything is going according um I just don't want to say soon and then it's not soon and especially not knowing when this video is going to come out because it could probably be on sale before this video come out but I don't know but yes I have stopped using store-bought products and I feel like that has made the biggest difference I don't want to say I stopped using store-bought products but on the moisturizing side of leaving it in my hair like something that I'm leaving in my hair I'm I'm not using like mane and tail leave-in conditioner anymore I'm not using the black Jamaican castor oil leave-in conditioner anymore I'm just using pretty much my own products that I leave in my hair um yes yeah, so I I rebraided each braid and it took me about two days and now today is I got it complete November 11th which was the anniversary anniversary day of my hair falling out like it did um I know my hair is still white if I can come back in here and show you guys when it all dries up and like the um the leave-in moisturizing cream actually sinks into my hair like i can try to show you guys what it looks like but this is what i've been doing to my hair once a week and then at the two week mark i will thoroughly wash my hair i'm actually approaching the two week mark because i got finished with my hair on the third and today is the 11th so my hair is actually two weeks old now um i actually like this style more than my mini twist and i'm so happy that i have gotten back to a protective style and my hair is not just um loose anymore and i'm not having to do so much to my hair every day and i just don't look i don't want to say frizzy but when i have my two big braids my hair don't last as long and I put these in my hair either October 22nd and this is my first rebraid and you guys I am really pleased and happy with the rebraid. I don't know how long I will just take one twist down and rebraid the twist and make it all look fresh before I just take it all down and um yeah just before I take it all down and then thoroughly wash my hair and then redo parts i don't know how many times i'm gonna re braid it before that happens but with this first one i'm pretty i'm pretty pleased so my hair has technically been in a protective style it was six weeks and then i re braided it on the third and now it's been up again it's the 11th so i don't know if i should combine all of that of like my hair has been up all of this time um but this is how much i hair i lost from the six weeks that i had it up this ball of hair has been sitting on my dresser for a week now or a little over a week but you guys this is not a lot of hair last year this time me re braiding my hair or taking all of my hair down it was like four or five times the size of this amount of hair and mind you this is six weeks of my hair being up not being detangled or anything so i am quite pleased with the amount of shed hair that i've lost like if you guys can see it is it is not much at all especially for six weeks like this is the normal amount of hair i would lose when i would rebraid or retwist my hair or even take my hair down so i am proud of myself that i have actually gotten my hair back to a healthy state and yeah so this is my new protective style y'all i'm like why didn't i do this style when my hair was actually fuller thicker like <laughs> because this hairstyle gives what it needs to give it gives me like fake locks and it makes me almost want to just let my hair lock but 
I'm not going to do that. I actually enjoy retwisting it. And I'm going to see how many times I retwist it before I just take it all down. If you guys can see the shorter um, twist back here, this was all bald. I had no hair from postpartum shedding. So when you guys see my videos and I'm washing my hair and the back of my hair looks thin and then you kind of start seeing like the hair kind of look a little bit more full it's because i literally don't have no hair in the back well i got hair in the back but i didn't have hair in the back so now it's all trying to grow back in and fill back in and i don't want to cut all of this off for the back of it not to look see-through because i know within about a year or so all of my hair especially in the back is gonna like start growing back in and look um more uniform but i don't want to cut all of my hair off and along with these little pieces that you guys see right here like i've talked about it's skinny down here and more thicker up here i'm gonna just gradually cut the hair off as the hair grows out and so i don't have like short pieces in the front of my hair like the back of my head but once again i didn't just cut these pieces off they I was completely bald back here because of postpartum shedding so yeah I feel like I rambled enough I don't feel like this video was too uniform so I mean if you hung in here and understood what I said thank you so much because my my brain is kind of scattered today and I really needed to let you guys know that I did rebraid my hair before it started looking really really grown in but this is what my hair is looking like this is this update and i think i might just keep rebraiding one at a time and i don't think i'm gonna come back in here and show y'all my hair dry because i'll probably show y'all some other time with it being dry i'm not sure but I'm, I'm really happy with these like they stay moisturized my hair it wasn't hard to take it down because the twists are bigger and the braids at the crown of the head I feel like really helps with the with the spider web situation that happens at the crown of the head if you just twist the whole um piece rather than braiding and then twisting I feel like the braid helps so much with making sure that the hair stays separated on the scalp and then it turns into a twist and then the twist don't get crazy on itself i don't rub my twists like this when i'm washing them i always do like a downward sweep or i squeeze my hair if i feel like my hair is getting older and i feel like it's just starting to really get tangled but that's more towards the six week mark but yeah guys i'm gonna really stop rambling but i just really wanted to come in here and tell you guys that i am going strong with this protective style and y'all might see my hair like this for a while and i really 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 like this style and um i don't know why i didn't do it sooner but these are the new mini braids that i am going to be rocking and I, I I just absolutely, absolutely love this hairstyle. So, y'all, please, if you made it to um, this part of the video, tell me. Are these kinky twists? What is this style called? Because I thought they were like kinky twists. But I'm not sure. But this is all my natural hair, just to be clear. Like, there's no hair added. Um, and maybe on my next rebraid, I can actually show you guys maybe this part of my hair me rebraiding it but yes i didn't want to bore you guys this time but thank you guys so much for watching please leave comments down below if you want to see me rebraid it once it gets tangly or more grown in let me know if you want to see me rebraid it because i know i got a lot of rebraid videos on my channel and then i can make it happen captain okay so yes the only two products i've been using have been my products cream the leave-in cream and my oil and then for shampoo i've been using the sham moisture black jamaican castor oil shampoo or i've been using my own shampoo bar and for conditioner 
I've been only using a deep conditioner, which is the Black Jamaican Castor Oil Deep Conditioner, or I will just put my cream on my hair and then just leave it alone because I don't need to rinse this out. And the content of how much shea butter I put in there is so rich, my hair don't need anything else in it. So yeah guys that's what i've been doing to my hair and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm gonna get off of here and stop rambling bye